Okay, welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at uh, past cast neighbor exam, and we are specifically looking at descriptive statistics that uh, those questions that were tested from that topic. As you understand, we have just completed that topic, and let's look at uh, you as a student. What do you need to prepare uh, as you wait for your exams? So with me here, I have an exam that was tested uh, in April 2023, and we are going to look at this is question number 2B. The question itself has 12 marks. We are going to look at uh, what uh, the examiner wanted you to do as a student. The question reads, the time taken to complete a particular task was measured for 250 workers and the results were as shown below. There is time taken in minutes, number of workers. Then required determine the value of x given that the medium time taken to complete the task is 40.5 minutes and the question has 6 marks. So we are supposed to look for x and uh, the best thing to do is to create a table. Here we shall have uh, time. We shall have time let's have time in minutes time in minutes and we shall begin from 0 to 5 then 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 then we have 20 to 25, we have 25 to 30, then uh, 30, 30 to 40, and then uh, we also have, we also have, uh, 40 to 50 and finally we have uh, this is 30 to 40 40 to 50 then you have 50 to 60 and above above 60 now number of workers uh, which represent our frequency in this case number number of workers Number of workers here, we have in two, then two, three, then five, five, eighteen, then we have X, uh, we have X, then we have one hundred. Then we have Y, and finally we have 15. Now, after this, I need to find the cumulative frequency. Cumulative, cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, you add the frequency, that is 2 plus 2, give you 4, 4 plus 3, give you 7, 4 plus 3 give you 7, 7 plus 5 give you 12, 12 plus 5 give you 17, 12 plus 5 give you 17, 17 plus 18 give you that 5 this is 35 that 5 next should be that 5 plus x this should be 35 plus x 
then here I will have that 5 plus 6 plus 100 gives me 135 plus x. 135 plus x plus y will give me this will be 135. This is 135 plus x plus y. And finally, this 135 plus x plus y plus 15 gives me 150 plus x plus y. Now, uh, you are told that we look for the value of x given that the median is 14, 40.5. So, we ask ourselves, where, where is the class that the median belongs? So 40.5, the class, the median class will be this one. Here is where we have, this is where we have the median. Yeah? So the median class, median class is equals to 40 to 50. Then how do we find the median? Median is the, second, is the same as second quartile. So, median is given as L plus N over 2 minus CF divided by F times I. So, uh, we have to identify these uh, values here. What is N? What is L? What is CF? From the question, you are told that uh, above here, the time taken to complete a particular task was measured for 250 workers. Means that if I add all the frequency, it should give me 250. Therefore, N is 250. L is the lower class limit of this class. Therefore, our uh, X 0.5 will be lower class limit in that class is 40 plus uh, let's add n over 2 what is 120 250 divided by 2 this give me 125 subtract the class before the median that means i'm going to subtract 35 plus x you can see that 5 plus x is the class before the median class or is the fre uh, cumulative frequency before the median class. Then divide by F, the frequency of the median class is 100. I multiply by the class width. What is the class width of the median class? From 50, 40 to 50, that is 10. But you have already been given your median, uh, which is 40.5. You can see from the equation that you are looking for X, given that the median is 40.5. So, at this point, I will have 40.5 is equals to 40 plus, let me simplify here, what is 125 minus that 5? Uh, with my calculator here, 125 minus that 5 gives me 90. So, this is 90 minus x over 100, then multiply by 10. So, Divide by, uh, if I multiply by 10, that means I can simplify the denominator. So, I will be left with 10 here. Multiply everything by 10 so that I remove this denominator. So, it give me 405 is equals to 400 plus 90 minus x. I the like terms. What is 405 minus 400? Give me 5 is equals to 90 minus x. So, what is x? x should be 90 minus 5. I hope you can see that. x come on this side, 5 come on this side. So, x is equal to what? 85. Good. Uh, up to that point, we have, we were able to find x. So, in this question, uh, you needed to know what? You needed to know that uh, the, you needed to identify the median class first. Once you identify the median class, then you know that the median 
is the same as the second quartile. You work out using the formula for the second quartile so that you can identify x. Now, let me move to the next question. Uh, the next question also has uh, six marks and you are asked determine the value of y given that the model class no given that the model time taken to complete the task is so in this question the question is testing you on how to find the mode uh, i taught you how to find the mode and you see that the mode is l plus d1 divided by d1 plus d2 multiplied by i now uh, what is L? L is the lower class limit of the model class. Uh, D, D1, D1 is the frequency of the model class. Let's come to the frequency of the model class. Is What is the model class first? Yeah, we need to identify the model class first. Now, uh, we see, we say that X is 85. So if x is 85, look at this. If x is 85, uh, the total frequency here was 250. Yeah, we know that uh, 250. Let me come here and say this. Uh, 250. 250 was if you add all these. This is 150 plus x plus y. 250 should be the same as 150 plus x plus y. Is that okay? It means 100 is equals to x plus y. Having, having, uh, uh, having gotten the value of x, it therefore means y is equals to 100 minus 85, which is 15. So, in the data provided, you will find that 100 will be the highest frequency and it therefore it gives us our model class. So in this case, uh, having known which is the model class, we now find D1. D1 will be 100, 100 minus X. And D2, D2, D2 will be 100 minus Y. Good. Now, let's find our mode. Our mode has been given here. The model time has been given here in the question as 41.5. So, 41.5 is equals to lower class limit of the mode. We have seen that the model class is 40 to 100. So the lower class limit here is 40. So the lower class limit here is 40. Plus 100 minus x divided by 100 minus x. Plus 100 minus y. Everything multiplied by 10. This gives me 40 plus uh, open the bracket here. It will be 1000 minus 10x divided by, add the like terms here. This is 200 minus x minus y. I hope you can get this one. This is 41.5. I want to subtract 40 on both sides. It will give me 41.5 minus 40 is 1.5 is the same as 1000 minus 10x divided by 200 minus x minus y. Now, let's work out multiple boots, multiple this side by 200 minus x minus y, multiple this side by 200 minus x minus y to remove the denominator. What do you end up with? If I open the bracket there, it will give me 300 minus 1.5x minus 1.5y is equals to 1000 minus 10x. Is that okay? Add the like terms. If I add the like terms here, 
it will give me uh, 300 goes on the other side is subtract of this come on this so this is uh, 10 minus 1.5 give me 8.5 x 8.5 x then uh, minus 1.5 y is equal to 700 good uh, at the same time you remember we had said uh, that when I have x plus y, it should give me 100. x plus y, it should give me 100. Is that okay? Yeah, the total frequency is supposed to be 250 from the work in here. So I want to find the value of y. So if I want to find the value of y, I will use the elimination method. I multiply this one by 1, multiply this one by 8.5. So I will have 8.5x. I want to eliminate x minus 1.5. 1.5y is equals to 700. Then this one is 8.5x uh, plus 8.5y. It gives me 850. So elimination, I subtract. What is 8.5? 8.5 minus 8.5 will give me 0. This will go to give me 0. Negative 1.5 minus 8.5, it give me negative 10y. 700 minus 850, give me negative 150. So, divide by negative 10, divide by negative 10, you'll find what? This and this will go, and it will give me y is equals to 15. In other words, you see, we had already found y is equals to 15 here. But the examiner wanted you to show how to get 15 using the model equation. That's why the 6 marks was allocated. Otherwise, if you come direct here and say x plus y is 100 and you find y is 15, that is not the sense behind the question. The question wanted you to get this 15 but apply the model question. Otherwise, we are going to stop uh, there at this, uh, on this question and we are going to look for uh, more questions on the same area in our next video. Otherwise, goodbye for now. <music>